Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Prisma. Today we are going to learn about the introduction of the Prisma. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. This is the brand new series of the Prisma tutorial. So any query regarding the Prisma, what is Prisma? So we are going to discuss in the current series. So let's get started. So what is Prisma? Prisma is an open source database toolkit that includes an object relation mapping that is ORM. This is a ORM Prisma, right? Prisma ORM simplifies database access in applications by providing a type safe auto generated query builder. It supports multiple databases like the PostgreSQL, MySQL, SQLite, SQL Server, MongoDB and the CockroachDB. So these all databases it provides the ORM. Now, what are the key features that the Prisma ORM includes? First and the important that is type safety. Prisma generates TypeScript or JavaScript code based on your database schema, making it type safe and reducing the chances of runtime errors. Auto-generated query builder. Prisma generates a query builder that allows you to construct queries using a fluent API, making it easier to interact with the database. Migrations. Prisma supports database migrations, making it convenient to evolve your database schema over a time. Data modeling. You can define your data models using the Prisma schema language, which is a declarative way to describe the structure of your database. Raw SQL queries. While Prisma provides a query builder for the most of the use cases, you can also execute raw SQL queries if needed. So this is the what is Prisma. So there are many or there are SQLize ORM is there, type ORM is there, and the Prisma ORM is there. So which one is the best? So we are going to discuss in the coming series. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Have a nice day.